Oh, hey. Uh, so I'm on my way to the gym, and I just wanted to share something with you that uh, I thought of, came up with, or discovered um, while I was at the gym the last time. And I, and I don't necessarily think I should say I came up with this, this because I'm sure that this has been done before. I'm positive it's been done before. Um, but it was something that I'd never seen anybody do, and I hadn't do, done it myself. And so um, <clears throat> I was just goofing off, um, and you know, I was loading the bar. I was doing some deadlifts, and I had a 45-pound plate in my hand, and I just kind of started pressing it overhead. And I found, like, man, that, that actually feels really good. Like, I don't have any pain when I do that. And for me, overhead pressing and really pressing in general – you know, can be difficult. Um, you know, when I bench or do any chest, I really got to warm up my shoulders, um, a lot and my technique and stuff has to be perfect. Um, or I have issues. I've got, um, a torn or torn rotator cuffs, I should say, uh, infraspinatus and supraspinatus in my left shoulder and my labrum is torn in my left shoulder. So, you know, years of, of bench pressing, uh, overhead dumbbell pressing, overhead barbell pressing, um, while ego lifting at the same time, um, is, is the reason I have those things torn up. Um, and I would say, and I played football too. So I would, I would say football was a little hard on my shoulder as well, but all of that stuff left me with torn stuff in my shoulder. So I, I found that plate, plate pressing was, seemed to be an okay substitute. Um, and it was it didn't cause any pain and it felt like it was stimulating my traps and my delts very similarly to overhead pressing which was kind of a surprise because the range of motion is short because when you're holding the plate over your head you know the range of motion is up as high as you can and then down until it hits you on the head so uh, the range of motion is short but I still felt like I was able to accomplish nearly what I could accomplish um, pressing using dumbbells or barbell. Obviously, um, you can't go as heavy, but I feel like this might be something I can do to continue to overhead press and, and utilize that movement to develop or maintain my shoulders. Um, so give it a try. If you're like me and you've got some shoulder issues that prevent you from doing overhead pressing with your standard dumbbells or barbells without pain or discomfort, then try this. I think you might be surprised.